It is almost hilarious that some traditional broadcasters still think they should fight the likes of Netflix and Amazon, don't you think? There are really two, two schools of thought. There are the people that are a little bit afraid that traditional broadcasters are, are being sort of um, eaten up alive by Netflix and the others who say, wait a minute, the Netflix model is not something that we should be worried about. It's, you know, we can, it's not something that we necessarily have to join them in, but it's definitely um, a, a reality today. And uh, they, they are actually putting out some pretty good stuff that we're producing, as a matter of fact. So I think that people aren't as afraid of Netflix as they were. In that case, if we are sort of in a new age of television, which in that are, sense, which, which we are, are uh, what would you say are the rules of engagement when it comes to co-production? Co I think that we're still... I don't think that we will be co-producing with people like Netflix and Amazon right now. I think that the, the sort of traditional broadcasters, I'm talking about documentaries, of course. Sure. Traditional broadcasters will still be co-producing together. You don't think there's a, a formula in which the traditionals can co-produce with the likes of down, uh, new players? I think down the line we will be. Ah, okay. But um, it, it's still sort of happening now. We know that that's where we're going, but we're still working for these big mammoth public broadcasters, most of yeah. us, in the documentary world. Today, people watch what they want to watch, when they want to watch it, exactly. and on any device that they please. Exactly. Although this poses a challenge to traditional broadcasters, to linear broadcast, but it also opens up a wealth of uh, opportunity, don't you think? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, um, sort of things that broadcasters were saying a year or 18 months ago, that uh, you know, we have to go and find the young people because they don't watch TV anymore. That's actually not really true. They just don't watch it the same way their parents watched it. And the business model change is mostly uh, to do with distribution side of things, isn't it? Well, it's also how, how do you fund ambitious programs? You've got to do co-production. You've yeah. got to have like-minded, either like-minded um, broadcasters who will co-produce together or funds of some, um, of some nature. If you were going to sort of comment on broadly on what kind of a time is it now for documentaries and documentary co-production, what, what would that be? I actually think that with all the, the um, terrible things that are happening in our world and, and that I think terrible things have always happened but people are much more aware of them. Important documentaries are becoming um, more and more desired by the general public. On that note, so Anne Julien, thank you very much for joining me on Pulse of MIP and I wish you enjoyed the rest of your stay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye -bye.